Panda and today I'm absolutely excited to show you guys how to make this um, chicken and mushroom dish. So it's a very lovely and yummy dish and really if you haven't noticed in my videos I've always do my job with chicken based and I tend because I love chicken. I hope you enjoy this video so let's get to it and let me show you the ingredients. So what we'll be using is some chicken thigh and I've diced this chicken thigh into small pieces and it, I just love chicken thigh because it has its own fatty juices and I just love that and this will definitely complement my dish. We'll be using um, a bowl of um, mushrooms and these are white button mushrooms but if you have any kind of other kind of mushrooms go for it, put it in. I tend to notice woodier is very um, very very lovely a mushroom to use in these kind of dishes but I haven't got no woodier so I will be using my white button uh, mushrooms so these are eight of them that are chopped up um, into small pieces what you will be needing is some uh, garlic granules and some salt I've got sea salt one stalk of uh, spring onion that I chopped up finely, some dark soy sauce and a Kashmiri chili powder, some potato starch and some MSG. If you haven't got MSG, um, try and grab some uh, sweetener or some sugar. And this is optional, um, some sesame oil. I just love this um, smell and the flavour to it. It's a very nutty flavour so I love it. So this is optional if you haven't got it, you know, try and go out and grab some. Uh, or you can leave it out, it's up to you. So I showed you all my ingredients and I'm ready to go. So let's get cooking! Okay folks, um, I've got my uh, pot. If you have a, a wok like me, use any kind of pot. That make sure it's flat at the bottom and it's a little bit deep. This is a great way to distribute all the uh, heat around your food. So that's nicely warmed up and um, I'm going to use some rapeseed oil. And I'm going to use just... Uh, tablespoon of oil. Gonna make sure all the pans got the oil on as you can see all of it. Now we're going to place our diced chicken into the pot. Now we're going to place our potato starch on top of the chicken. So that's one tablespoon of potato starch. Give that a mix. We're going to place another tablespoon on this side of the chicken. And that's the potato starch. Just going to mix that all together. Carry on frying it on high heat. As you can see, majority of the uh, chicken has gone white. So what we're going to do? We're going to put it down to medium. We're going to place our lid on and put it down either further to a medium low and to let it cook until its juices come out. Okay, folks, it's been three minutes. And I'm just going to lift up the lid. Okay. You can see the juices coming out of that. Um, that's going to give that a stir. You can see the um, potato starch makes the um, juices very thick. I love that in my dish. And now we're going to add in our um, mushrooms. So that goes in. And start just, you know, 
I'm stirring that around for a bit. You can see the chicken has changed colour. And what we're going to do is add in a dash of water. And place the lid back on for another five minutes until the um, mushrooms have released its flavours. Okay folks, it's been a little bit over um, five minutes and I'm just going to lift up the lid. You can see the um, mushrooms has uh, reduced its size and you can see more liquid and that's fantastic because that means the mushroom has released its flavours and it absolutely smells wonderful. So I'm just going to give that a stir. So what we'll be doing is adding our garlic granules and that's going to be one heap tablespoon of um, garlic granules. We'll be adding in next our Kashmiri chilli powder. It's up to you how much heat you want. If you don't want to use this, you can use as an alternative is some chilli flakes or some uh, actual green chilli. But I'm using the powder as I run out of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a quarter of a tablespoon, well a teaspoon, sorry. I'm going to add a pinch of sea salt. I'm going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, folks. One teaspoon of sesame oil. And what we'll be doing is giving that all a stir. I can smell is the uh, sesame oil just oh just fragrancing the whole dish and that is such a lovely smell I wish you guys can smell that <laughs> so you can see now it's become a lovely brownie color so we're letting it cook without the lid on for one minute Make sure you stir in between as well. Okay folks, it's been a minute and a half and I've been leaving that to cook. Now we're going to be adding in our MSG. So we're going to be adding in just a, under a teaspoon of MSG. And we're going to give that a mix. So you can see the sauce is thick and that's thanks to the uh, potato starch and that's what you want, you want your gravy to be very thick in this dish. What we'll be putting in next is our uh, green spring onions and um, we're just gonna top it off. So that is my final dish. And it's a very beautiful dish as you can see, very colourful as well with the green onions and it is a fabulous dish to eat with um, egg noodles or any other kind of noodles, some rice, some uh, naan bread. Um, so I recommend everyone to try this out. folks that was my chicken and mushroom dish this was a very tasty dish and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you try it and please leave the comments below in what other dishes I should make give it a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time with me Farah Panda bye